It is great to welcome you to our class and our upcoming journey together. Uh, this is Introduction and History of Missions, uh, which is Christianity 6350 in your course outline. Uh, my name is Dr. Stephen Mark Edworthy. Uh, I've always gone by my second name is why I share th the full one. Uh, titles are not that important to me, but it's probably worthwhile for you to know that I have two earned doctoral degrees, a doctor of ministry as well as a PhD. But more than that is my heart's passion is for global missions. Uh, my wife and I opened uh, the missions work in Poland back in 1991 with the then Foreign Mission Board, now the International Mission Board of the South Southern Baptist Convention. Our children grew up overseas. Uh, we took three with us. We adopted two when we got there. And the three of them have returned as adults to serve uh, two-year terms in places like Poland, Macedonia, uh, and Kazakhstan. Uh, I do not view this course as simply a set of facts and stories uh, but an introduction to the very heart of God. Uh, he is a mission-sending God who desires for all of his children to find their place in his great commission. Uh, we will look at the history of missions to see what theology and practices have brought us to the current situation. Uh, we will look at the current reality and status of world religions. Uh, we'll also look at approaches and strategies for effectively impacting the world with the gospel message. Uh, your textbooks will be Introduction to Global Missions, uh, From Jerusalem to Erie and Jaya, and uh, my small book there, The Wall That Remains, uh, as well as the Bible. And uh, these will guide us through our many topics. Uh, it would be helpful if you would purchase these immediately and read them prior to our semester. Uh, you'll be able to show your interaction with the material through book reports on two of these books uh, and using the general textbook as you complete your major writing assignments and your weekly interactions. Uh, your major writing assignment will be a seven to nine page paper developing the scriptural basis for missions and implications in the 21st century. Uh, remember to cite key biblical passages from both testaments, the old and the new, as well as current missiologists input. Uh, also remember to turn in this assignment on Monday of week seven. About 45 percent of your grade will come from the weekly discussion boards uh, so please join in to address the thread of each week and to interact positively and thoughtfully with your classmates as well as with me. Uh, I have taped eight short spots, I call them, like this welcome announcement lasting from two to five minutes to introduce each week's module. I've tried to make these spots more interesting by taping them in diverse places like Prague, Leicester, which is England, uh, Taipei, Athens, Krakow, Warsaw, and even Red Square in Moscow. I've also purposely taped my lectures from various different locales to hopefully provide more variety and interest. Uh, to get started, please read the textbooks and begin writing the two book reports. You can also begin by viewing the first lecture and joining the first thread of our discussion when the timing arrives. Uh, during your first entry, it would be great if you take three to four sentences to introduce yourself so our di dialogues will be more meaningful. Although I travel quite a bit with my responsibilities, I'm usually available uh, early in the morning Texas time between 6 and 10 a.m. Uh, and I respond to email inquiries within 24 hours. So you can always reach me that way. Uh, again, you'll find it uh, posted, but my phone number is 804-205-4302. And my email address is medworthy at hbu.edu. My goal is that this course is not simply to introduce a subject and transfer some knowledge to you, though I hope that happens in the process, but to begin a lifelong journey which transforms missions from a topic to a lifestyle. I count it a privilege to be able to walk with you on this journey for these coming weeks.